what is going on youtube this is the computer tips and today i am bringing you a new video i know it's been a while and i actually have been working hard and a lot of new contents that i got coming up um in the next few days and months actually but i wasn't scheduled to bring anything soon but i decided to cut it short especially since now everybody's concentrated on this whole thing with the nsa now it's a big deal there's a lot of people who are starting to worry about using the internet especially since they know this information me personally I was one of the people who was kind of aware that the government was doing this and nothing's changed for my life since it came out public by this spy um, but anyways this isn't a video to talk directly about that although it's somewhat associated with it um, I want to talk about basically privacy online and for this video specifically we're going to be talking about search engines now everybody uses search engines uh, most use I believe now I don't know if this is a hundred percent correct but I'm gonna say Google Google dot com excuse me there is the most used search engine it's the one that a lot of people enjoy well that's changing now people are going for private search engines that do not connect uh, collect not connect uh, information from their users now Google does collect information from the users and Google is also one of the companies that was listed in the document as providing information to the NSA hence why people don't feel they should trust Google so everybody is panicking they don't know what to do and they don't know how to use search engines anonymously well I'm gonna teach you how to do that and there's a few search engines that been around for some quite time and um, but not many people knew about them not many people use them but ever since this whole ordeal they have skyrocketed in amounts of people that are now starting to go there and most of you guys that are going to watch this video are probably going to start using these search engines because of the fact that you search anonymously and no information will be collected while you do so. So let's start with the first one which is called DuckDuckGo. And DuckDuckGo's basically is a search engine that lets you browse anonymously. Now if you don't care about this whole NSA ordeal there's other reasons why you should care to browse anonymously in the internet and that is why I do it sometimes because of the fact that it's uh, it's not just with the whole government collecting information it, it goes even beyond that so I'm gonna bring up an example that DuckDuckGo made of um, why it's important to search anonymously so here they have when you use Google they use the they're searching on Google herpes so you click that your search result is usually sent to that side along with your browser information and computer info so now they have a general idea of where you're located and where everybody is located that made that search um, for herpes which can often identify you and then that's when that information is gathered up by third party ads so now when you're browsing online you're getting uh, advertisements related to whatever you search in this case it will be medicine for herpes and those uh, third parties they can build profiles about you and then the advertisements just go everywhere on the internet everywhere you go you'll see information about that I actually currently I have a family member that's going through something similar that not, <laughs> not in the sense of herpes but they put something on Google accidentally because their lack of uh, understanding of the English language well it turns out it wasn't what they were really searching for and now <laughs> everywhere they go I'm seeing advertisements related to what they search and uh, I find that quite funny so your profile can be sold after that 
and potentially show up in unwanted places like higher prices and, and getting insurance. So now you try to go get insurance, but you get denied because they know you got the herbs. But then there's more. Remember your searches? Google also saves them. Your saved searches can be legally requested and then it can come back to bite you. Um, as far as here, they go about a uh, Google employee can go snooping and look at it. I don't know how legitimate that statement is. And as I said, this isn't a video to bash Google because they're not the search, uh, the only search engine that's providing information to uh, the NSA or to third-party companies. Uh, almost all search engines they provide that type of information. Uh, there's Google system could get hacked. As far as I know, I haven't heard on the news of them getting hacked. But anyways, that's why DuckDuckGo they don't collect any information so whatever you search so right here I'm gonna search YouTube and this is what it looks like and this information is not collected by anybody and as I mentioned it's 100% anonymous so that's just one of the places you can use uh, another website you can use is called start page Oh, just a little history real quick about uh, DuckDuckGo. So, as I mentioned, some of these search, en search engines have been around for quite a while. And DuckDuckGo was actually launched back in September 20 f the 25th of September of 2008. By a man named Gabriel Weinberg, I believe his name is. And basically... Uh, DuckDuckGo, the way it works, it, it gathers information from from uh, Yandex, Yahoo, and Bing, but without collecting any user data such as IP and certain cookies. And then we have StartPage, which is the same type of uh, anonymous search engine or private search engine, whichever you want to call it. But they're enhanced by Google. Basically, they index the search results from Google, but without collecting the information that Google does. So that's uh, that's kind of how it works. Uh, let's look at their private policy. It says uh, StarPage does not collect or share any personal information. The IP address that is associated with your search will not be recorded. We don't collect any personal information from our visitors. Starbase does not use identifying cookies. And government requests Starbase is a headquarters in the ne Netherlands, Europe. Any requests or demand from the government, including the U.S., to deliver user data will be thoroughly checked by our lawyers. And we will not comply unless the law, which actually applies to us, will undeniably require us to do so. So they don't have to hang the information over unless the law where they are located in the Netherlands will require them to do so, which normally it doesn't. In certain extreme cases, they may be required, but U.S. always has a lot of trouble uh, requesting things like that from the Netherlands. Uh, we also have another one, but this one's different. As I was looking at it, when I first learned about it, I was slightly confused because I didn't understand how it works. And it's uh, it's an interesting concept, the person who made this, because of the fact that it's not like a regular search engine where you just go type uh, a name in or a URL in and then boom, you're at a um, search engine. Or a private search and this one is actually run by v by you so Yancy or Yancy I'm not sure how it's pronounced is a free search in it that anyone can use to build a search portal to interact or help search the public internet so this is something that you yourself host on your computer so it, it has its advantages especially it's 
independence is what what it gives you so you collect your own index and only you can see what's being searched from your search engine so it's like making your own search engine and um, it gives you privacy so you're you're the search engine operator and nobody can trace you as well as it gives you freedom there's no data limit there's no censoring there's no filtering there's no user observation except for yourself who can observe what's going on in your search engine and there's no content spamming as well as you get to create your own search portal so let me look real quick I believe they have a uh, a search portal you can use for demo this is one they made this is what it looks like you can basically make your own your own and you can customize it as the way you want it to look um, let's see there was something else alright so next thing is uh, the way it operates is a decentralized search engine so it's it runs basically like this uh, if you go to Google or any place they filter what's what shows up in their search engine um, they choose what content is going to show up they get to choose advertisements that are going to show up well, this changes everything because nothing is censored so nobody can censor the information that Yancey uses to collect uh, um, not to collect to uh, index when you index something a search result it's not filtering any way so it's uh it's a place where you can search for files to download and basically you can think at this play um, you can think of this place as sanctuary for torrents every single torrent out there that's indexed by Yancey is not filter now this could be a good thing and a bad thing especially for sensitive content that could be seen illegal they tend to not filter it now I don't know where how safe that is um, in regards to the information that your internet service provider gathers from what you use online so in a sense you have to decide whether or not you want to allow those type of contents to go into your own search engine so if you decide to let these uh, sensitive turrets go through you're potentially putting yourself at risk to allow investigations to open up against you although they do say that this stuff is um, 100% private and that nobody can trace you I have yet to understand how their system 100% works because it's uh, as I mentioned something new to me so my recommendation if you're gonna use Yancey for whatever reasons for malicious reasons or just in regular just be careful what you do with the system because you never know what type of information is still collected from your ISP while you're using this um, search engine which you built yourself anyways guys this is uh this is all I have for on search engine so far and if you have one that I didn't mention here uh, make sure to leave a comment below and let others know so they can start using it hope you guys enjoyed this video and you can expect more about online privacy and how to browse the internet online um, anonymous, anonymously. Ah, for some reason I couldn't say that word. Anyways, I'll catch you guys later.